The cockpit door flew open immediately. And at this point, the flight attendant in the forward portion of the aircraft uh, was, was standing. And uh, the cockpit door flew open, hit the laboratory door. Uh, that door, the lab, lab, laboratory door got stuck. Um, she was very concerned that uh, was some, somebody in there. There was no one in there, uh, but that was stuck. And she did um, uh, attempt to shut the door uh, three times. It did eventually shut, but it did blow open uh, during the explosive decompression. They heard a bang. They hear a bang. They immediately put on their oxygen masks. Uh, at the time there is a bang, the door flies op open. Uh, the, there is a quick uh, reference checklist that's laminated uh, in front of them. Uh, this is not the quick reference handbook. That is to the right side of the, um, uh, the captain. But the checklist, the laminated checklist, flies out the door. But I do want to emphasize that the actions of the flight crew were really incredible. Uh, I imagine, uh, and just from talking with uh, everyone uh, who was part of the interviews, it was described as chaos, uh, very loud uh, between the air and um, everything going on uh, around them. And, uh, and it was very violent uh, when the uh, rapid decompression and the door uh, was expelled uh, out of the plane. Um, so there was a lot going on and I just really want to, we want, we want to thank the actions of the flight crew that, that was equally heroic. The, just the flight crew entirely did an excellent job. The cockpit voice recorder was completely overwritten. There is nothing on the cockpit voice recorder. Of the uh, door plug, uh, and said he found it in his backyard. Thank you, Bob. Please, uh, we, we will, I will reach out to you so that we, uh, uh, so that I can thank you myself. I can, can I narrow down where it landed? I can say <clears throat> that Bob is a school teacher in Portland.